Welcome back Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to be doing your mid-month check-in for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Cross Watchers. Please remember to like, share, as this helps grow my channel, but also it's, um, you know, kind of like a good energy exchange. It, it does help um, support the channel as well. Okay, Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's go ahead and just jump right into your reading. By the way, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am taking personal readings. You can, um, you know, look in the description box and that link is listed there. Also, there's a list of um, Oracle cards that I do work with um, if you'd like to know that information. And um, there's also a link that you can um, click to go ahead and support my channel again um thank you so much for those that have been supporting the channel i really appreciate it and if you're unable to that's okay too um just go ahead and please like share and subscribe also comments guys um you know getting your um feedback on on my readings or the readings that i'm posting does help and also if you have any new ideas or you would like um a specific type of spread or um a topic of reading Go ahead and post that there, and I'll try to implement it in um, to my monthlies. Also, remember to subscribe. That's how you get my upcoming notifications. We all know this, right? Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading, Capricorns. So the first card that comes up is um, the Ten of Wands. And I feel like this is about you just releasing things that are no longer working for you. That brought you, followed by the Three of Cups, which brought you kind of sadness, and followed by the Wheel of Fortune, which is like it's almost like destiny fate like this situation that you have currently went through um as difficult as it was it's about just kind of releasing um things that have kind of been weighing you down and you're being forced to do this so it's you know it's, it, it depends on how quickly you're gonna um release this energy i feel like a lot of you have been going through that release um because you're desiring like a little bit more happiness and you deserve the desire that you know, you deserve the love that you desire. You deserve the things that you desire, like all your hard work um, that you do put into, you know, because Capricorns, you guys are, you know, pretty like um, determined. And uh, so with the three of cups reverse, I feel like for some of you, it's obvious, like you've made a mistake. It, it could be around um, a relationship or a hope that you had somebody that was um, maybe you were talking to and I get the sense of there could have been a loss and around a friendship or a connection that um, you recently had gone through. But I'm getting this energy for my Capricorns. It's like, what could I have done differently? And I feel like you guys have done some soul searching and you're releasing these burdens. And yes, you feel things could have been different, but I feel like now you're starting to look at it from a different point of view. Meaning you could have avoided this. And like, this is that lesson that you're kind of uh, supposed to learn. The, the specific situation could have been like round and round. Um, you guys could have been like running in circles where they would come in, come out. Um, but I feel like for now, now you guys are kind of moving into that more stable energy. It's like learning these lessons is bringing you like not only just completing this cycle, but you know, everything that we complete, like if we end, right? When we end something, especially with the 10 of wands, like comes to an ending. Um, we always have to go ahead and start new start fresh so i feel like that's what this wheel of fortune is representing towards you know in this reading for you guys so it's almost like well it's been fun but um no thank you and um, now you're ready to kind of go forth and move forward with your own desires and with the lessons and the experience that you have from your past and it could be some some several lessons that you've learned but you know like we have to learn lessons in our lives and we go through challenges and lessons and this helps our soul grow. So I get like, you know, we have that two ones followed by the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just talk right into, like get right into this energy. I feel like these lessons were um, brought to you so you can grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, so you could be working on your physical body right now. Maybe you were just done dealing with this. So you were like, let me just focus on me. Um, we have the two of wands and there are options around you or there's a path that you need to choose or a direction or you're looking into like more of your future. So you're also seeing like what's available out there for you. 
I feel like certain things that you do, it's like when you do something, you have to be clear with yourself before you can move forward. And I feel like Capricorns, this is where you're at. It's like trying to get clear with yourself, but there's a need for patience. So a message that I'm getting and that's coming in really strongly for my Capricorns is patience. Um, with the Hierophant, this is about having faith, um, trusting. You could be like, uh, you know, kind of seeking guidance. Be careful of the guidance that you do seek. Um, because at the end of the day, it's it's your personal life. Even with this, this um, reading that you're looking at right now, um, take what you want and leave what doesn't serve you. So not everyone's, don't hang on everyone's word is what I'm, the energy that I'm getting with Capricorn is like, just take the advice that you feel is going to kind of resonate with you, especially after going through this very difficult period of time and also maybe healing some abandonment issues and trust issues. Um, with the five of cups, this was a very difficult transition. And I feel like for some of you, you're feeling that sadness. You could be um, focusing on like the things that you lost during this period, but um, not everything's a total loss. So maybe that's the message that I'm here to tell you guys. Like not everything is a total loss, especially when we learn lessons because lessons help us grow. Um, challenges help us become stronger and more determined. So I get the sense that you're getting back into the game especially with the, the two of wands. It's like, you've been thinking about it. Which direction do I go into? You've been kind of maybe seeking advice from other people. And with the five of cups, it's like the sorrow is still there. But, you know, with the five of cups, there's always, you know, not all the cups are empty, okay? So I don't want to say go back to this situation, but I'm saying there's still hope. And I think that's what you guys have to kind of realize um, is just allowing that hope with patience to come in, you know, towards you. We have the King of Wands followed by the moon and then the Ace of Swords. And the bottom of the deck is temperance. Okay, so with the King of Wands, this could be somebody that you might've been dealing with. This might've been somebody who created the, the sadness or the difficulty or just something that you've released. This could be that person that you released um, from your past or it could be you. Um, I do feel like um, with this person, if you are dealing with somebody, it's like somebody who's like really um, very self-confident, a little bit like overly passionate, like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but like love bombing. <laughs> Maybe that's why there was such a major disappointment because they came at you very passionately, very um, strong. Um, but I'm not getting a lot of follow through with this person because I feel like there's also... An energy where if you had tried to communicate with this person, just like no time for explanation. I don't have time to deal with that. Um, or this could be you. Maybe you're just like, I'm done. I, I don't want to hear what you have to say from this past because I've, you know, you've closed that door. And when one door closes, another one opens. With the moon card, um, this is, you know, again, see how it resonates with um, the moon cycle for you. Um, I feel like for some of you, maybe the, the fears and the worry... Um, or confusion, it's, I, I feel like you're at the point where you're just letting it go. And you're starting to kind of work. So whatever was not working for you in the past is definitely um, being let go. And you're kind of looking and moving on from that energy. And it could be a couple of people, it could be a couple of things. The Ace of Swords is someone that, I feel like someone could be communicating with you. And I, I do feel like you guys will get your point across, okay? But, I mean, it's the double-edged sword, right? So even though the Ace of Swords does bring new beginnings or kind of releases or you get that clarity that you're looking for, but it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily, it's not really, I'm not getting the vibe or the energy, especially if you're dealing with something in the past. I'm not getting the vibe or energy that it, it, it brings in an opportunity for you guys to kind of come back together. I feel like you're, you're like, I won. I'm moving forward. I've got everything that I need. I've got the clarity that I need. I know who you are as a person now and or situation or you're, you have a very good deep understanding of what happened and how it happens. And I feel like a lot of you are looking to change that that energy or if you have been in this pattern for a couple of years, you're ready to change that um, what's no longer working for you. Okay, so the temperance at the bottom of the deck. This is very loving energy. It's nurturing. It's... Um, 
it's 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 also asking you to kind of step back again patience is required <laughs> with the temperance but not to rush into things so there's a lesson that you guys have gone through or there's some challenges or difficulties and one of the things is that kind of look back and see and reflect see if you were patient enough or what was your um role in this situation um, but the good news is, is that I do feel like you're, you're balancing out. You're coming, you're becoming more sensible, more knowledgeable. So especially with the Hierophant, you might even just change the way that, um, there might be a shift or a change in what you're now wanting to bring into your life or who you're wanting to bring into your life. You're definitely in more control than you have been, even though you don't feel at the time, because it does take things to start, um, coming into fertation. So just. Remember that and keep that in mind as you're going through this difficult time. I feel like this person that you're dealing with kind of kept, they kept you at a distance. That's why that Ace of Swords is also coming up. I just wanted to bring it out. I um, I know we kind of moved on from it and explained it, but I, I feel like you're balancing any sense of feelings and emotions of abandonment and betrayal. That, that comes up very, very strong for me, Capricorns. Um, and with the Hierophant, you could be... I'm just really kind of sticking to your daily grind or um, as a result of the situation, you pulled yourself in and um, just stuck with your, you know, work, kids, family, school, um, maybe praying a lot or getting um, more spiritual or spiritually connecting to bring balance back into your life. And that's what you had to do. This is that process that you have gone through. So with the temperance at the bottom of the deck, by the way, I will, we'll recognize that Ace of Cups because um, I really don't feel like your reading is um, specifically about love. I just feel like it's more of a personal development reading, guys. And th these lessons were needed to be learned to bring you um, into that happiness, that joy where you where you want to be. And I feel like for most of you with the Hierophant, like maybe that's your main focus. I just want my family to be happy, to be safe. I want structure. I want order. I want consistency. And I feel like this is that goal that you're starting to move forward to with the temperance. So let's talk about the temperance. This is someone like, you know, feeling very calm, working hard, um, getting creative, but also finding that balance because, and uh, finding balance, but being a little bit more open where maybe the last two weeks or three weeks you felt like I'm just done. I don't want to deal with people. Um, but now it's like you're able to kind of create and, you know, create your own balance, which gives you more strength, especially with the lessons that you've learned. It's like, I'm not going down that road again. I'm not repeating that. You're closing that cycle out. Okay, and with the Ace of Cups, by the way, I, I don't normally pull two cards from the bottom of the deck, but it popped out. With the Ace of Cups, I do feel like you guys, once you like evolve, um, as you're starting to evolve, unexpectedly, you could be um, meeting somebody new that brings you happiness and joy. And But I don't feel like it's conditional. I don't feel like the terms, they were, they're not conditional as they have been in the past. And I don't feel like you guys are going to have to work that hard at it. So... Go ahead and see how that resonates with you. Again, it's not going to resonate with everyone, Capricorns, but please, you know, um, and in terms of timing, this this is pretty a timeless reading as this is a self-development. So it's all about how, um, and I'm not going to put a timing on it because this is all about your personal progress, Capricorns. And that's really what I want to kind of focus on. That's going to help you move forward. Um, sometimes we always want to know about the future and like what's upcoming. Yeah. Is there a love upcoming? Yes. Is finance going to get better? Yes. Do you need to learn your lesson from a, maybe a financial situation that affected your home or your environment? Yeah. And the two of wands is you need to make a decision. Don't stand there. Don't, don't stay stuck. Um, just go ahead and make the decision because you do have choices and options around you and maybe you're not seeing them right now and they'll just start to come in maybe in the next 30 days. Let's go ahead and pull two. Spirit, Oracle. These are spirit junkie cards. I love these. It's safe to ask for help. People want to support you. I do feel like that energy is around you guys. Like you guys tend to do things on your own. You don't really ask for support, but 
this might be a time where you might need to go to a family member and ask them for support or, you know, maybe it's financially, it could be emotionally. I feel like it's more of like a guidance um, energy. But remember what I said in the beginning, guys, be careful of like who you're listening to. So maybe um, they offer you advice. Maybe even this reading, you're like, oh, you're going to um, let go of all this. And you don't want to take that advice. You don't have to. Okay. But it, but this is going to be your personal choice. And in, in what you're allowing and who you're allowing to maybe have a strong influence or an opinion in on your life. But I do feel like if you ask for the support, the support is there. Instead of taking on fear of others... I reflect love. So if somebody is trying to um, like, like spark your fear, I and I just actually dealt with a personal situation myself, Capricorns, where somebody was trying to put fear into me, right? <laughs> and I just squashed that. Done. You know, I spoke my truth and, and I, I squashed it. And maybe that's what you're being asked to do is just squash it, send them away with love or you know, put that in a bubble of loving energy. I always put people or things that maybe if I'm in conflict at the moment, just in a loving um, energy bubble, um, not only just to protect them, but also to protect me. So it's like, just until we're able to create balance is normally how I would do it. So it might be something that's useful for you. I am ready to go big, rise up and step into my power. There you are with the temperance. I mean, that doesn't get any better. And I feel like a lot of you are going, but you know, you are, you know, definitely elevate, um, leveling up and rising up to step into your own power. And that doesn't get any better than that, Capricorns. And I feel like this is like long overdue for some of you because you've really been struggling. Um, especially with the those personal emotional tags. And I want to say tags. When I say tags, it's like just certain tags that we kind of collect along the way um, from when we're, a, uh, you know, a very small child. And one thing that we don't do is we don't stop to release those tags. And Capricorns, this is your month. <laughs> so you're going to be releasing them whether you want to or not. I feel like you've been um, forced to get that little eye opener, awakening, um, enlightenment, right? With your current situation or maybe several situations around you. Okay, Capricorns, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. This looks like it's pretty big for you because you are definitely rising up and you're stepping into your power, which I feel like is long overdue for my Capricorns. So please remember to like, share and support my channel to help me grow. If you would like a personal reading, I know you guys are so tired of hearing this. You can go ahead and get the link below. Also, if you'd like to support my channel, um, you could do so as well. But you could also support the channel in just liking, sharing, and subscribing, and also just watching this video. Okay, until next time, love and light.